Today I'm reading Berry Song by Michaela Goad. She's the author and the illustrator, and she actually won the Caldecott Award for her beautiful illustrations. She grew up and lives in Alaska, and she grew up berry picking every season, and this is her story. A note to the forager. Please only gather berries and other wild foods that you and an experienced adult can ad identify beyond a doubt. There are many toxic lookalikes, gunas chish, and gunas chish is how you say thank you in her um, native, in the author's native language. She and her family are members of the Tlingit Nation, which is a native um, people that live in Alaska and the Pacific Northwest. And you can see all of the different kinds of berries in the front here. On an island at the edge of a wild of a wide wild sea, Grandma shows me how to live on the land. Together we pull hemlock branches from the salty ocean, heavy with herring eggs like tiny stars. On the beach we gather ribbons of slippery seaweed dancing in the tide. By the tumbling icy falls we dip our nets for silvery salmon hidden beneath the current. And in the forest, we pick berries. Salmonberry, cloudberry, blueberry, nagoonberry, huckleberry, soapberry, strawberry, crowberry. The berries sing to us, glowing like little jewels. We sing too. So berry and bear know we are here because bears also live in the forests. Grandma tells me we speak to the land as the land speaks to us, I say. Huckleberry, soapberry, strawberry, crowberry, thimbleberry, swampberry, bogberry, chuckberry. The forest sings to us through the misting rain and whoosh of wing, the sweet smell of cedar and the tickle of moss. We sing too, so the land knows we are grateful. Grandma tells me we take care of the land. As the land takes care of us, gunas chish, I say, giving thanks. Thimbleberry, swampberry, bogberry, chalkberry, zinganberry, raspberry, bunchberry, cranberry. Our ancestors sing to us, their voices dancing on wind and water. They, that, Ugh, sorry, we sing too, so they know that we'll always remember, and we sing for the future, so that all will hear and all will know this beautiful berry song. Grandma tells me we are part of the land, as the land is a part of us, I say. And you can see all these beautiful illustrations. The ocean sings to us, rolling ashore like a beating drum, we sing too, so the tides know we are home. Together we make salmon berry syrup and cranberry marmalade until the kitchen glows like a summer sky. We feast on huckleberry pie and strawberry crisp, raspberry scones and freshly whipped soap berries. We share gifts of blueberry jelly and nagoonberry jam. Gunash chish, we say, giving thanks. The nights grow long, edged in frost, as sea fades gently into sky. The forest is resting. The forest is dreaming, waiting for berry song. And so the seasons change. On an island at the edge of a wide, wild sea, I take my little sister's hand. Lingonberry, raspberry, bunchberry, cranberry, salmonberry, cloudberry, blueberry, nagoonberry, I have so much to show you. And at the end, there are these amazing notes from the author where you can learn more about a lot of these native berries. Maybe you could ask Miss Peters because she lived in Alaska. Maybe she knows about some of these berries as well. All right, well, I hope you liked the story, Berry Song by Michaela Goad.